Bears fans, I am backstage with the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. I am back here with Luis Baboon Palomino, the reigning winner this evening, double champ champ. How are you feeling, Luis? Feeling amazing, man. We we, we keep doing history. You know, uh, this is the fifth 155-pound title defense. Even when we walked in here, we already had broke the record. Nobody has defended a title four times in BKFC history, and we just did it for the fifth time. So it just there's no way I can explain the feelings right now. What worked for you in this fight, do you think? Well, I came to fight today. I, I didn't come to box today. That, that's the difference between my face looking like this and how it normally looks when I fight. Um, I felt like I owed the fans more of a show, more like, you know, the, this is the dark side. I call it the dark side. We take off the gloves. If you're like in MMA or, or professional boxing and they think that we're crazy, like, no, I never do bare knuckle. And so I say, take the gloves off and come to the dark side. So I'm making it look a little too easy, you know, and you can hear, you can hear some people, you know, they, they, they do their talking, and I don't care about them, I care about the fans. I say, you know what, let me put on a show tonight. Let's close out the year right, and, and we did. He had such heart. We have to talk about that. Man, Tom surprised the hell out of me. I did not expect this type of war from that man. I did not, because I've watched his fights. Look, I don't, I'm not putting nothing down about him. I think he got good boxing. Um, he always goes down, but he always gets up. Not that we knew that, that was the danger. But man, did he bring a fight, you know? I, I made it dirty as possible because we wanted to put on a show, but man, did he bring on a fight. I hit him with everything, and the man kept walking. I've never bled so much in a fight. I have 51 professional fights. This is the most you've ever seen me bleed in 51 professional fights. You still look pretty handsome to me, so I wouldn't worry about it. And to the fans, what would you have done differently in the fight if you could think of anything? Nothing, nothing. I, this is what I wanted to do. This was the plan. The plan was to get dirty. The plan was to come over here, do a show, and look for a knockout because Florida Yas International, my sponsor, my friend, uh, Ralph Navarro, said we have a 10K bonus if you knock him out. You know what I mean? And, and being the gentleman that he is, he says, you're still getting the bonus. And BKC is giving me a bonus too, so I think we did great. That was the plan. Would you run it back with Tom? I would definitely run it back with Tom. Look, I'll fight. I, I've, I've said it before, Susie and I, and, I've, and I'll say it again. I'll fight with anybody. At this point, at this stage in life, after doing what I'm the pound for pound, the best fighter on the planet. At this point, at 42 years old, 17 years fighting professional, I deserve big money. And I'm not saying the BKFC is not taking care of me. I'm just saying that it's time to level it up. You know what I mean? So if you're going to give me a name like Tom, if you're going to give me a name like uh, whichever name you want, I don't want to call nobody else out. If you want to give me a name, I don't care about the name. I care about the number that comes attached to that name. You know, Luis, you've been in the business so long. Does it ever get older when you walk in to a fight? Do you still feel the same excitement as that very first fight you had? I guess it would be almost two decades ago, is it not? <laughs> Definitely. You know, there's, there, there's a lot of pressure to it now. And you, know, you accomplished so much along the way. You know, like it, I, I started fighting at the age of 26. You know, you know that, right? And, and I didn't do amateur fights. And I'm fighting at 170 pounds, weighing 165 pounds. Like I had no business doing, like I learned, I made all the mistakes possible in MMA. But because of that past, because of all those mistakes that I made, it prepped me for this. And this is why I'm the undefeated double champion right now and the pound for pound, because I learned from those experiences. So to answer the question, it doesn't change. It, you know, if anything, you feel a little more pressure because you've reached a certain height and you don't want to fail in front of your crowd, you know? So many people know you and love you and have seen your extensive experience and growth in the combat sports industry. But I want to know, who is Luis Baboon Palomino, the man? <laughs> Luis Palomino is a lover, you know. <laughs> I'm a lover and I'm a fighter at the same time, you know. Um, look, like I said earlier, this has been the, the best year I've had in my entire life. You know, I, I finally became a permanent resident. I, I got married to the most amazing woman in my life that I've ever met in my life. And we just bought a home just like a month ago. You know, and now we close out the year like this. I think, you know, everything that we work for is finally coming to fruition. And I'm just trying to soak it all in right now. 
So uh, I'm going to play this video for you from somebody that called you out. Oh, really? Yeah. You might know him or you might not. And get your reaction to it. Let's take a look. Luis Palomino, I've been calling you out. You've been ducking, diving and swerving me. You're nothing but a little old man. You're holding on to two boats that you're not even worthy of. I'm going to smash your already. And I am the number one bare-knuckle fighter in the UK, in the world at present. There is nobody as good as me. There, nobody, there won't be nobody as good as me. I am evolving a sport, sport of bare-knuckle, BKFC. I am BKFC. What is your response to that, Luis? Wow! <laughs> well, look, this is this is what you earn. When you get to the top, you know, you got a target in your back, you got a target in your face, and everybody wants what you want. Everybody wants to take out the pound for pound, the champion. I think that he's in his right place to, to say so, but he's only fought twice in the organization. That's my personal, uh, you know, opinion. Now, when this man right here says, hey, you're fighting Conor Tierney, all I care about is my manager's going to be like, okay, I want to see the number attached to that name. Because that's what we care about right now. So as long as the numbers make sense, we can do it next year, man. I'm, ain't nobody's ducking you. <laughs> Calm down, brother. Calm down. Nobody's scared of you. Nobody's worried about you. I'm not looking at names or face. I'm looking at numbers. Your face just looks like a big old bag of money. And you can get it anytime. Before we go tonight, Luis, any friends, family, or sponsor you'd like to thank? Definitely. First of all, you know, I wouldn't be here. With this type of experience, but it wasn't for Eric Castaños. He's a five-time kickboxing world champion. He's my technician, as I like to call him. His, he even flies in his trainer, Jose Orquiza, that's over here in my corner, always guiding us. Um, and as far as, oh, and Avner Parade is my conditioning trainer. This is why I can do that pace for five rounds, seven rounds if I want to. And apart from that, my sponsors, the number one sponsor that I have that has supported me since day one in the bare knuckle is, is uh, Florida Yachts International, Mr. Ralph Navarro, Cigarette Racing, and Top Gun Yachts, they're all his. You know, um, also, Divino Ceviche has been sponsoring me since my MMA days. Divino Ceviche, 1-800-INJURED, uh, this is a friend who has high school. You know, um, there's so many. <laughs> I don't want to leave them all out, but those are the, the biggest ones that have always been there next to me. Uh, Jen Terra Med, Dr. Ramos, Brian, um, they take care of me. It's, it's, I have the right people on the right team next to me. That's that's all it is. You know? Congratulations, Luis Baboon Palomino. I know we can't do that. I look forward to seeing you back next year in the Squared Circle. For Bare News, I'm Susan Singar, and this is Luis Baboon Pound for Pound champion in the world. And remember, and I mean remember, come on, Luis, no one beats us to the punch.